separates us from the others. Uh, we, do, we do the cooking process the old school way. It's, um, it's, it's a labor of love, so there's lots of hard work and, and sweat that goes into it. Uh, we don't use machines. It's offset cookers. Uh, it's man, meat, and fire. The way we're doing it here is, really hasn't changed since the 20s. It's a uh, post oak. Post oak and low and slow and salt and pepper. The combination of that pepper, that grease, and that good smoke combines to build up that bark. This is gonna be probably about six people. Everyone should order this. If you come to Texas, you come to Texas for a beef rib and brisket. And that's what we do best. I can already eat beef ribs and full pork. I'm off, I'm off school, I'm on break, so I thought I'd treat myself. You know, if I had a punch up and damn, so I'm good. So it's gonna be a good old meal, you know? Only mustard, salt, and pepper on top of this because it is so packed with flavor. Best. Well, I'll tell you, this is my first time here, but I have to say that uh, I was pretty impressed. My family's originally from Lockhart, Texas. Uh, we opened a barbecue restaurant there in 1932. My brother and I set out to open up the restaurant. Uh, he didn't want to name it after me, and I sure as heck didn't want to name it after him. So we settled on my dad's name. My dad loves loves uh, you know having the having a restaurant named after himself. Um, he's a good guy. He's a hardworking guy, and uh, it's a way for, uh, for us to pay our respects to him. And we're done. Let's go. 
Good afternoon, everyone. We all have this one life to live. A fleeting shadow amongst all that exists in this vast universe. We have the ability to accomplish anything, truly anything, if we use our time wisely. Is this jar full? Yes. And is it full now? Yes. And how about now? Is the jar full now? Now, I want you to recognize that this jar represents your life. Golf balls are the important things, your family, your friends, your health, and your passions. The pebbles are the other important things, your car, your, your job, your home. And the sand is everything else, it's just the small stuff. Now, if you put the sand in the jar first, you won't have room for the pebbles or the golf balls. And the same is true in life. If you spend all your energy and your time on the small stuff, you won't have time for all the really important things that matter to you. Pay attention to the things that are critical to your happiness. Take care of the golf balls first, the really important things. Set your priorities, because everything else is it's just sand. Yes? Uh, professor, what does what does the beer represent? <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad you asked. It goes to show that no matter how full your life may seem to be, there's always room for a couple of beers with a friend. 